And last thing, I mean, I know you've been very outspoken against, you know, PED users and everything. Uh, you feel that disqualifies you from everything. I mean, just address that side of the yeah, situation. Yeah, with Brock, Brock's got to be clean, man. I'm not going to fight him if he's not clean. And we'll do USADA testing and we'll do other testing. We'll do testing above USADA to make sure this man's clean. Because I'm not going to fight him if he's cheating. I've done that on a number of occasions already. I don't want to fight him if he's dirty, man. Do it the right way. Can can you elaborate? What can you do? What would your recourse be? Uh, you saw it as a standard. What would you be able to do above that? I mean, you kind of put me in a hard position, right? Because I can't really say much in terms of USADA because I'm not... USADA's been great to me. I've been in this testing program since 2001. But when you watch boxing, sometimes the guys do USADA testing and they do independent testing. And I just want him tested all the time. He's going to be getting tested even if I got to pay for it. We'll get him tested as often as we need to to make sure he's clean. DC, real quick. While I certainly would never want to get in the way of you getting a Lesnar payday that you would deserve, how do you explain the moral dilemma of saying Jones does, doesn't deserve the platform to speak for his failed test, but Brock would deserve a title shot right after failing a test? Maybe we're living in my world now, so I dictate the rules. So yeah, and plus I just really don't like Jones. So I'll never give him a platform.